Hello again and welcome to another video. This is our 69 plate, which is September, end of September, in fact, 2019 BMW 420i Grand Coupe M Sport with the Auto ZF gearbox, which is eight speed with the paddle shift. The car has only covered 10,000 miles. I think it's literally just gone over that. It's finished in estrel blue metallic. It's in absolutely beautiful condition. I'm gonna take you around the car and point out some of the spec on the car. Now, all of the cars that come into us, no matter what their age, they all get the same treatment. This has been machine polished um, by the detailers here, both of a rotary polisher and an orbiting polisher, which sort of takes out any little holograms. They're the reflections you sometimes see on cars in the sunlight. So we get a nice clear finish. Now, because it's such uh, low mileage, you'll notice that the front of the car has virtually nothing on it in the way of stone chips. I'm gonna come across the front to start with. We've also fitted some really nice black gloss grills, actually, I'll just show you those, with the double slats. Now this area along the front is an area where you usually get stone chips, but there's nothing on there. And the bonnet is absolutely immaculate. I'm just looking around off of the camera to see that I don't miss anything. And no, that bonnet is perfect. Now, if we come down, also the headlights are crystal clear. There's no pitting on the headlights at all. If I come in a bit closer, you can see that the lenses are really nice and clear. The lights always flicker on camera. And the later cars have the black interior on the lighting opposed to the chrome, which is a much nicer finish. And it sort of blends really nicely with the grills as it meets. We've got front and rear parking sensors on the car, front and rear fog lights. And if you just look, there are no nasty chips. In fact, there's a tiny single chip there. You see that little dark bit just in the center there? So very, very minor, very minor indeed. I'll just come round to the other side, so bear with me. I'll just try and move steadily round. Again, the bodywork in really nice condition. And no chips down at the bottom. Oh, it's just a very tiny one right at the bottom there. Just see it on that edge. So completely minor, which you've got to expect on a car this age but all beautiful and if you look down the side of the car all the panels nice true it's not had any paintwork or anything like that and come back out now just show you down the side on this side we will move from panel to panel in a second but you can see what you're looking for when you're looking down here is ripples um, for many previous paintwork, but this is all original. It's not had any paintwork at all. It's a very clean, low mileage car. All of the black gloss has all been polished up as well. The wing mirrors, no damage on the wing mirrors at all. And the windscreen, all in very nice condition. No damage or chipping. If it did have chipping on there, under these bright lights, you'd see lots of little specks and then we come up onto the roof. Another area to check for along the front here. Also, there's no bird dropping stains. And what I mean by that is bird droppings that have been left on there and it bakes in the sun and then it blisters the lacquer underneath or it leaves like a stain on the paintwork. There's none of that. In fact, if you ever do get that on your car at home, if you're very careful, if you get a hairdryer and warm the panel up very gently, you will see it disappear gradually, as long as it's not gone too far. There does come a point where you just can't do anything with it, but uh, if you do get that and you catch it early, heat will eradicate it. We come back to the back of the car here. Again, the back bumper. And on the, the later cars, I think it's after 2019 or 68, the valance down at the bottom there, the 
the fuse of it is redesigned with those sort of uh, diffuser sort of bits in the center. These bits just, if I can zoom in, it won't allow me to zoom any more at the second. Oh, there we go. This bit here was what I was talking about. That was just a reflection. All the uh, tailpipes have come up really nicely. All the chrome work. And then if we come up to the boot or the hatch, be in the Grand Coupe, I've got a large hatchback. I'm just gonna bring you along nice and slowly. You can see no scratches on there. Sometimes people rest boxes on there, God knows why. They don't realize it will scratch. And we've got the darker tinted rear lights as well, which is nice. So the earlier ones were much redder. And they've sort of toned them down. Looks more sporty and a little bit more stealthier. The parking sensors, the reflection of me that you don't want to see. <laughs> and we've got some protection glass on the back windows. So that's a, a, a filming within the glass itself and it's sort of it's like a foil and it reflects the heat out of the car hence the name sun protection and the uv light as well so if you've got children really um, young children in the back it'll keep the uv light out the back all around the filler cap all of the paintwork is lovely there's no scratches and another thing worth pointing out let's just move that out of the way is this car will run not only on the new E10 fuel that's come out, but it will, it's pretty much future-proofed because it'll run on E25 as well. That's the ethanol content of the petrol. And then we'll just look down the side from here as well. Lovely and clean shine. While we're here, in fact, if you look at these wheels and even the brake, discs and everything, all lovely and clean. We've got the 704M 19 inch alloy wheels, all part of the M Sport Plus package that's on the car with the M Performance calipers, which are slightly bigger, bigger disc, bigger pad, and they're all powder coated in this lovely blue, running on Goodyear's, Goodyear F1, I think they are, yeah, Goodyear F1. Star rated tires, so BMW approved, so they're original tires. And again, the discs and the bigger brakes, you can see the M logo on the brake there. You see the condition of the discs, as you would expect. And the wheels and badges all in lovely condition. Just show you this wing mirror on this side. And while we're here, worth pointing out, just down the door edges, no scratches or anything there. So let's just come back out, give you a side profile of the car. So the, the Grand Coupe is basically a lot sleeker, as you can see, than the 3 Series in the background, the white car. And you have pillarless doors, so basically, when you open the door, you've just got the glass there. So let's just move around. It's going to take you inside the car, but I'll just move around and show you the near side from back here. The light's always a little bit different, so. So estral blue is the colour. We've got the black gloss vent on the side there. Now we've got two keys obviously with the car. When we press the lock and unlock, you should be able to see that we've got LED lights underneath the handles, all round. Again, the door edges. Oh, I've locked the car, let's unlock it. Now the door card on the front passenger side Finished in black Dakota leather. We've got the aluminium, uh, sorry, the brushed aluminium finish. If I just come in a bit closer, this is an option with a black gloss finisher at the top. That continues inside the car. 
down around the iDrive, etc. there as well. We've got the Harman Kardon sound system, which consists of a bigger amplifier, 16 speakers. So we've got two in the door here. We've got more speakers just under the seats, just down under here, and up in front of the professional media, up on the dash there. I don't know if you can see it there. Additional speaker that's not usually there. So you get a much clearer sound system. Just want to show you all of the door edge, the whole door card, there's your puddle light underneath. All beautiful and clean as you'd expect. And then if I take you around the door shut, no scuff marks. I mean, it really is like a new car. All the rubbers around the outside of the door opening. No seat belts have been jammed in. That's a reflection. If I just move to the side, you'll see it disappear. And then the seats, again, really lovely condition. And then the little rocker switch there at the front on the side there, that will inflate the bolsters this side and over here to sort of squeeze you into the seat. The front section of the seat moves forward. There's a lot of movement on the seat, can change the angle, the height, etc. Just gonna bring you up. Headrests as well, these come forward. You can move them forward like so to give you a bit more support. Press the button on the side, they flip back. Just gonna show you around from this side while we're here. There's no scratches on any of the trim in there. And then down here, all the iDrive wheel and the brushed aluminium. Okay, so let's bring you out of there. Let's take a look in the rear again. Door edges, no damage. And the door card, the handle. I point this out because sometimes on these door handles, you can get gouges and scratches from people getting out, maybe holding keys in their hand, and you get scratch marks on there. And they're, they're just over a hundred pounds, those covers. So they're not cheap to replace. So it's nice when they're all as clean as this. Again, the puddle lights at the bottom, beautifully clean under there. And again, the door shut on this side, as you'd expect, as it was when it came out the factory. All of the rubbers around the outside, no damage. All of the seats, We've got the Isofix in the back there. We've got center armrest. And then the backs of the front seats, there's no scratches. And if we take a look at all the air vents, there's no damage down here. We've got all the mats in the car. The M Sport gets the black or anthracite headlining as well, opposed to an SC, which gets like a light, a light gray. So we can use the key to open the, uh, the tailgate on the car. And inside the car, you can adjust how far this opens. So if you have a garage and you don't want it to hit the roof, you can adjust it so it'll only open up. In fact, if I bring it down a little bit, let's see if we can do that. You could have it so it stops about there, say for example. So I think I might have to bring it all the way down now to show you, and then we'll open it again. You just press and hold to close it up. And now I can show you along the top of the rear bumper and also the rubbers here. Again, this car's, it's been really well looked after and you can tell because there's no scratches at all, not even on the metal work there or anything, or the rubbers in beautiful condition. Got your cubby hole there, which all LED lights, and then you've got your toolkit. You can see how clean it is in here as well. Toolkit, first aid, locking wheel nut. And all of the carpet in the back, beautiful condition. And then the parcel shelves, there's two. This one pops out as well, so you can take both of them out if need be. 
And then underneath, whoops, let's do that again. We've got some additional storage under here. So for example, if you wanted to run on non-flat uh, tires, this is where you could store your little uh, tire inflation kit and pump completely out of the way. And then if I just bring you up around the edges, what I want to show you really is just every little nook and cranny, shall we say, is, uh, is beautifully clean. All up under here as well. We've got a button there to close the boot down if you wish to use. So that's used, we use the key to bring it down. And as we do, I'm gonna stop it there, even up under here, all beautiful and clean LED lighting for the registration markers. Now the 420i, it's worth pointing out, these are around about 184 or something PS. It's about 181 brake horsepower. Um, and it's the same engine that they put in the 430i, which runs about 250, 254. And uh, we can have a, a Celtic remap put onto the car that will enhance this car up to the same power as it's the same engine as the 430i. Or you can actually go further. You can go up to 273 brake horsepower. And I think you get an extra 100 or 90, it's either between 90 and 100 pounds per foot of torque as well. And we've just done that on another 420i that went out the other day. In fact, I've literally just come off the phone to the gentleman and uh, helped him put his private plate on the car. And he says that the performance is much improved and the torque is a lot better on the car. It's a totally different car to drive and very smooth as well. So that's an option. It's about £360 for that option. Just want to show you the back seat, the back of the front seat rather. <laughs> okay. And the leather. There's no um, child seat stretch marks in there or anything like that. So all the leather is in beautiful condition. So we'll come out of there. Driver door, I think we've already looked at the edge and all around the door handle actually. Let me just show you there. Sorry, there we go. No scratches. I mean, there are no scratches on the car to be honest with you. We just want to show you. So let's do this door card, the driver door card. Now being that this one's the one that gets the use, there are no marks on this one either. And again, this door edge, Sometimes you can see little bits of like nicks in the vinyl on the edge where seat belts have been jammed, but this one's perfect. Again, the seal. Let's just zoom in. That edge where the plate is, the, uh, the seal plate, can, um, you know, if people have got gravel drives, they can scratch those and wear them through, but this is all in lovely condition. I really like pointing out the bits that you don't usually see. And not everyone takes the time. They might not have the time to do what we do and go as far on the cars as what we do and then try and show you in the video. That's the whole point of it. Now, we've also got the electric folding mirrors. Now, I will need to put the ignition on. I get caught out of this every time because the cars shut themselves down after a couple of minutes. We've already spent 19 minutes, so I'll just show you. The wing mirrors fold in. And then on the near side, but I'll turn that off because it will allow me to do it. On the near side, when you go into reverse, the near side mirror will automatically dip, I believe, when the rocker switch is on the left. If you put it on the right, it won't dip. So if you put it in the car in reverse and you want to see the curb, flick this over to the left and it'll automatically dip down to show you. Sorry, we're going out of focus. There we go. 
it'll automatically show you the curb so you don't curb your wheels because you don't want to curb your wheels with this car because it's so clean the rocker button again let's take a good look at the driver's seat and again areas to point out the bolsters nowhere all of the seat in beautiful condition and then the center armrest before i jump in and get in the way you can see all around the gear selector there's no damage and the cup holders are under that sliding panel which i'll show you in just a second the steering wheel so the steering wheel is in it's like new and I say that because sometimes these get scuffed and scratched around the edges, but all in really lovely condition. So I'm going to jump in. Oh, I'm going to move the seat back as well. Okay. So what we'll do, we'll put the lights on there. But we'll start it up actually now. There we go. So... 10,010 miles. I think when we picked it up, it had done like 9,000 and we've obviously delivery mileage to the garage. So that's all there. Right, we've got auto wipe, uh, sorry, auto lights, front and rear fog lights there. Auto wipers, for some reason that's on, that wants to go there, so it's off. And you can adjust how often they wipe. That should be off now, oh no, I think I've put them on. Oh, it's down. There you go, it's off. Uh, the paddles, so you've got plus on this side, minus on the left. Speed limiter at the top, resume, and then the cruise control on off button here, and then there's a rocker switch here. So if we put limiter on, you can see in the center, you've got 20 mile limit. So 20 miles per hour that is, and you can increase that. So if you're going for a 50 zone, you can tweak it. Everyone likes to cheat at 50 zone, so you might tweak it at 52, just so you can go past somebody. That's usually the way, isn't it? And uh, the car won't go over that speed. There is a safety bit built in, so if you do need to accelerate hard, I'll take that handbrake off actually. If you do need to accelerate hard, it will allow you to power through it as well. Now on this side of the steering wheel, we've got a mode button voice activation, telephone, and plus and minus. So by pressing the mode button, this brings up what's called the full black panel display. And then you can use the roller button to go through the dab channels and press down to engage um, the radio station. If you press mode again, there's your FM, again, AM. Music collection, now this is an 80 gig hard drive, so you can download all your CDs into the car etc and you can they take a few minutes to upload but really handy uh, save stations back to dab below the button the mode button is that telephone button i pointed out so when your phone's connected you can then scroll through the telephone numbers that you last dialed okay so let's put the climb on auto and just keep that down that will come up here first now this is the professional media this is the later one so this is all touch screen and we can either use sorry the buttons around the iDrive wheel this is where you can write with your finger on the top here you've got a back button an option button at the back and then you've got a menu button that will bring up um, the, the display at the top all of the different what they call tiles you've got a shortcut to the map navigation where you can input destinations media for your music and communication is your telephone now you'll notice the display is showing three tiles you see up here you can either press that and you can see more all of the options there so you've got six up there you can move these around to bring them closer to you so you'd have to reach across so far. I'm gonna use the shortcut buttons. Now straight away, you can see that the map is looking straight down. We turn the iDrive wheel 
So basically the I drive wheel down here, twist it, joystick, and press down to engage. So we'll just go back. If we go over to the left, we're in the left. If I turn it, you can then see all the sub menus down here. Now map views, you've got a choice of views in here. We're currently in north orientated. Now the other handy thing you can do, so if we want this in direction of travel looking down, which is really good for built up um, areas where you're under navigation and you want to, you know it's going to be one of the turnings on the left, but you can't work out because maybe you're in perspective view, which gives you this view, which is always um, a little bit harder as you can see to see the road. So. You can use the buttons down here. If I just run my finger gently across them, you see it highlights at the top. You can save that view. There you go, map perspective. Let's go back to the other view that we were on in direction of travel. We'll save that on number seven. You can see previously someone's used it for the radio stations, but with DAB, it's so easy to flick through them. They're in alphabetical order and now you might be traveling along number eight that's the view you want for the motorway and you know it's you know you've got a long journey and then when you come into a built-up area just hit number seven it flip into that view makes it a bit easier on roundabouts and stuff you can also save telephone numbers in there so you go into one of the telephone numbers on the system and then basically once it shows you that individual person's number press one of the numbers maybe number one or whatever and uh, it will save that telephone number so to dial your partner or anyone close to you or work you can just press the number and it will dial it straight away we've got dual climate control now there is um, lighting under here and the door cards and it's always in sport and i can tell you now it's not going to make the car go any faster that lighting and I don't think it really shows up that well, personally. So I prefer the traditional, go into here, interior lighting, there you go, it's always in sport. Put it in classic, and now you'll see what I mean. You can see that glow of orange around there. And uh, at night, it's, it's a much better color, to be honest with you. It's a warmer color, and you've got it all under the door handles. And then up here, you get a nice ambient light in the uh, cockpit. So if we go back out there, so that's just, um, so communication, as I said, this is all your telephones. I say that because you can put more than one in there. Uh, connect new device, really simple. And then it will do all your streaming of your music. If there is a number below here, sort of around here that you want to delete, you've put someone's phone in there. If you move the iDrive wheel to the right, you'll get an option to delete it. So really nice and easy to delete telephone numbers as well. That has come out of there. Uh, connected drive services. So this has got the remainder of probably a three year subscription to the connected drive services, Amazon Alexa. You've got the weather, so you can click on there. You can actually have this um, display as a screensaver, I think as well and i think there's the news so you can bring up the news it's just loading up there so if you're sat there waiting for someone there you go russia again lost in space oh dear i feel a bit like that sometimes <laughs> but, uh, anyway so that's all the apps in there um just check what else is on there wikipedia so you can go and search in there as well for things if you're bored. You've even got a weather radar actually. This actually shows you the weather coming across, which might not be that important, but if you go to play golf maybe, it will actually bring up the weather as it's moving across. You'll see it in just a second, there you go. And if you come over to the left, you can actually start it. You can see you've got option for rainfall, clouds, temperature, and then you'll see the map moving across so if you're going to play golf you can see what's coming i say golf it might be anything might not it okay that's come out of there my vehicle this is where all the settings are for the car now we already went into lighting on the right hand side you can see and your door locks this is where you can change everything 
comfort entry, the, the amount of times you need to press the button. This is the tailgate setting that I mentioned earlier. So you just press down on here and you can see the tailgate up and down so you can just set it at a height that it will restrict it to. Uh, Relock automatically, lock after pulling away and flash your lights when you lock it up. You've got a speed warning in here so if you want to set that at 70 or something, vehicle tracking. And then the next one down is where you've got your mobile devices touchpad display screen units for example you can change this uh, to uh, brake horsepower and pounds per foot of torque also on the remap they recalibrate the um, the performance settings in here as well you've got your sound system with your logic 7 harman kardon surround sound graphic equalizer etc Right, so let's move out of there. Notifications, pop-up. Pop-ups, driving experience. So if you wonder what that was, when you hit on the driving modes, it pops up on here. If you take that button off and I press the Eco Pro button now, it doesn't come up on there. You can see it's come up on here. So that's what that pop-up for driving experience does. Software update data privacy etc etc so come out of there contents of main menu driver profile so basically we can go in here we'll rename this that was the previous owner back to 2012 in july sure. just oh, before let's the turn the radio off because basically what we just did we just but changed oh it memorizes all of the uh radio stations and settings for wing mirrors on the car. Now I can write with my finger on here. P. We'll put prestige R. in. E. Oh, sorry, I wasn't looking then. S. T. I. E. It doesn't like my E's. So let's try a G like that. Y. No, that thinks it's a Y. We'll get there. C has a problem with G's, doesn't it? Do they not have G's? Oh, e. Okay, it will eventually do it, but for cheat reasons, I'm gonna to go to G. I've got to change my handwriting, that's what it is. We'll go back to E, there we go. And then press down, oh no. Move across, press down. And that should, in fact, we want to go to okay, there we go. And there we go, we've changed it to OK. So when you do this, basically make sure you've only got one key in the car, because otherwise if you've got both, you're not going to know which one it is, and that's obviously his partner, so you can change that one as well. Come out of there. Let's go back this way. Vehicle status. So this will give you your tyre pressures, check control, because we've just reset the tyre pressures, service requirements engine oil not due to next may front brake pads 33000 rear 47 and then this car wow it's been serviced more than it needed to be really yeah it's not done any miles has it look 4000 5000 Wow, you don't often see that. And then that one is a brake fluid change. We can get that put in the right order as well. So the car has been really over-serviced, basically. It didn't need those two services, I guess, but I suppose, no, being 19, 20, 21, 22, yeah, it wasn't due a second oil change yet, but it's been done. So someone's obviously very, um, I don't know what the word is, very uh I've literally got my mind has gone blank so I'm gonna move on from there but they've they've serviced it more than it needs to be and we'll take it in and we always give them a check over anyway so that's all done so let's move on from there I think we've done everything we need to up there we've got dual climate control we've got heated seats 
and then just want to show you all in here look look how clean it is non-smoker obviously all around here so we've got sport on the gearbox on the left and then we've got our drive settings which i mentioned so that's just quickly pop back up here we had economy which is where you can configure everything for economy comfort sport there's your sport displays we changed it oh it's gone back kilowatts and newton meters I didn't save it obviously and then sport plus let's just make sure we're in park so i think we've covered everything in there just show you that we've got all the books and the handbooks in there as well so the next thing i want to do is take you under the engine bay quickly let's put that in there so i'll turn the engine off for a second otherwise you won't be able to hear me two pulls on the bonnet pull and then basically with the bmws you can just lift the bonnet up And there is a very, very clean engine bay. There we go. The light is just starting to change towards the end of the day. It always goes a bit more orangey. I just want to show you just how clean the engine bay is. This is all hoovered out to make sure there's no leaves in there. You don't want to get any sludge in there. You don't want a jet wash in there or anything like that. The engine bays are all cleaned very carefully with uh, WD-40 or the equivalent, which is a nice, nice uh, safe product to use in the engine bay. And it's a twin power turbo. In this case, it's not two turbos, it's twin scroll. And the twin scroll is two inlets into the turbo. And basically what that will do, it will make the turbo a lot more responsive. It makes the air flow faster, giving you better fuel economy and uh, better performance so let me just see i've got light coming in above me so there we go really lovely and clean and all up under here look just as shiny as on the uh, outside of the car so when you bring your bonnet to, uh, down to close it just bring it down to about here and just drop it you've got two catches either side and it'll fall neatly into place if you put it down gently you end up pushing on it and that's when you are in danger basically of denting your bonnet so thank you for taking the time to watch the video i know it's quite long but uh, hopefully it was worth it it's a lovely car we've got lots of different finance packages we've got some great warranties you can take out an extended warranty that starts when the manufacturer's warranty ends because there's still 15 months warranty left on this car. So any questions, give us a call. We'd be happy to help. Take care, bye.